Hello everybody, hope you're all very well and welcome to this show to help video on finding the nth term. So the nth term is something done in maths and it's typically studied to begin with in S2 in Scotland. So here we have a sequence or a pattern and in order to find out the nth term there are a few things we need to do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at the gaps between all these numbers. So essentially, how am I going from 7 to 10, 10 to 13, and so on? Well, I know that 10 minus 7 is 3, so 7 add 3 is 10. So I know for this particular one, to get there, I'm adding 3. And 10 add 13 is adding 3, so that's going to be again adding 3. The same goes for 13 to 16, and the same goes for 16 to 19. So, from the information, just from there, I've worked out that the pattern is going up in 3s. So that means the beginning of the, well, the essentially the nth term is going to be 3n. Why is it going to be 3n? Well, because we're using the nth term, so we use the letter n, that's part of the formula. And then because we're going up in 3s, it's going to be 3n. However, when we're going up in 3s, we tend to be using the 3 times table, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 and so on. However, we're not doing that because as you can see we're starting with 7 and 7 is not how you start the 3 times table. You start the 3 times table with 3 but we have to work with the fact that we have 7. So what we're going to do is, how do you, we have to work out how do you get from 3 to 7? Well, you add 4. 3 plus 4 equals 7. That's it, that is your nth term. Two steps. I'll go over them again. So, you have your sequence and you have to work out the gap between them. So I figured out that in between every gap we're adding 3 because 7 add 10 is 3, 10 add 3 is 13 and so on. So that's where the 3 comes from. And then our n, we're using the nth term so that n represents essentially what the number is going to be for what number we're trying to find in the sequence. So that's why we pop that n in there. And then our final part, which in this case is add 4, what we want to do is we want to think how we go from the beginning of the 3 times table to the number we've got. So, we're, adding, we're going up in 3s, we're adding 3s, which is the very similar, well it's the same as the 3 times table. Except the 3 times table starts with 3, this part starts with 7. So it's different. But that's okay, we can work with that. All we have to do is we have to figure out how we get from 3 to 7. How do we get from 3 to 7? Well you can do 7 minus 3 to give you 4, or you might just know that 3 out of 4 is 7. That's why we add in a 4. So that is our nth term. 3n add 4. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this video useful. See you next time on here to help. Bye for now.